Sagittarius. Welcome back to There's That Tarot. Something feels stressful for you guys. Is this about reconciliation? You can feel like your head is in the clouds right now. What is the Three of Cups? Some of you guys are dealing with the water sign. Someone may want to communicate with you again after a break. Maybe you two got tired of each other or something like that. It was a lot of disappointment. What is this, Sage? It's like someone's thinking about communicating with you. They love you. But they may I have also been the hold up in the relationship. So you two could have had a lot of breakup makeup. And it's all bringing, it's like, is this, it's almost like, why isn't this working? Somebody may be manipulative as far as like, using the fact that you're emotionally attached to them in order to kind of get their way. Is this you? What do you want to say? This, yeah, that's you. I think you're craving peace, Sagittarius. This may be something, <laughs> I don't know who wants you to come with them, but somebody wants you to come with them. This could be like, here, <laughs> come on over to my place. Is this connected to a person? Yeah, but I actually feel like this is more of Slowing things down with the person that you've been with and getting to a, like a, I'm seeing a gradual stop. But I feel like the come with me message is more about, it's almost like spirit is saying, come with me. <laughs> like God is saying, Let's just, just come over here, right? It's, it's more peaceful over here. not so heavy over here. Don't feel the way it feel over there. <laughs> Come with me, Sagittarius. It feels better over here. Ten of Wands in the reverse, Three of Swords, and the Nine of, nine of Swords in the reverse. This is like a big-ass sigh of relief. What is this Three of Cups about? could have been unrequited love. This could have been like, somebody's trying to protect you, Sagittarius. Because if it was, if whatever this situation was, was your wish fulfillment, why would it feel like that? Like pressure, or like you want to bolt. As soon as I said that, I saw the Nine of Pentacles in the Fool card, which is like, <laughs> get me out of here. <laughs> no, it's more about taking a chance, standing on your own two feet versus putting your time and energy into something that feels it feels wrong. It's like God is trying to lead you to what's right. And that could be you. It's like leading you back to self. This temperance card is you, the Sagittarius energy. Wherever this is, it's a lot more peaceful than where you were. Strength card. Some of you could have been dealing with the Leo. We got Capricorn, Taurus, Libra energy here too. You may have felt excluded from a lot of this person's plans. 
or like this person may have made you feel like, um, like you weren't good enough or something like that. Maybe certain things you weren't invited to Leo energy big time. This could have also been somebody that you ain't want to introduce to everybody. <laughs> the other story I'm getting from this is you could have slowly started disassociating yourself from this person. Like just intentionally not including them in things, avoiding the stress, avoiding the, I'm hearing public embarrassment. Avoiding even having to think too much about what this person got going on. Is this you? This person could be like very entitled. It's like they want everything, but they offer so little. Is this you? Is this your person? I think this is the energy that you want to feel. This Empress energy. I'm hearing there's a path to this feeling of abundance. Something that you've prayed for. Anything that you question, like anyone that you question, it's like you got to skip over the small fish. You got to throw, you're going to have to throw a few back, Sagittarius. It's like a necessary slowdown, things that you need to walk away from. Certain relationships that you may need counseling to really sift through. Because right now, like I said, it feels like that head in the clouds. I'm not, I'm not quite in. I'm not quite out. But the more single you become, and I mean in your energy, the more independent you become, whether you're in a relationship or not, the more independent you become, the better you feel. The more you do it on your own. And I feel like it's making you look back at something that you poured so much of your emotions into a relationship with somebody who is not showing up clean. It's something when you take time to, you know, spending time alone is like taking a long bath. It's like the longer that you're alone, I'm not saying spend years alone and going, you know, but spending a good amount of time. It's like the longer you're there, the cleaner your energy becomes. And then when you kind of introduce yourself back into the world, especially running across some of the same energies that you were dealing with before your hiatus, you see the difference. And I feel like that's the effect that this is having. Maybe you're like gradually separating yourself from someone so that you can see what it is that you've been dealing with. It's a lot of unspoken feelings. Some of you may be moving on and it's like you don't even know how the person felt. They don't even, you, like y'all never really talked. Night of Swords in the reverse. We never even really talked about it. It just ended. Ten of Swords. Like I said, a lot of you are, whether it's a life coach, a therapist, it's like you're working through that, that lack feeling on the inside, that grief. And I do feel like you're feeling better. It's helping you to realize, you know, where your energy was going, how it was affecting you, different patterns in your love life. I feel like somebody's helping you work through that. Or this could just be what you're doing on your own and what to avoid in the future. This is devil.
could have gone back to this person. It could be just that you were dealing with a Capricorn. This could have been somebody who still wanted to play the field. They could have been very selfish, greedy. It's like, even if you did, you, you would never, hmm. You could have family with this person. like the love you know how you can love somebody so much that it's like you you'll go back in their direction and then you get there and you're like oh shit that's why I didn't want to be here it's like not worth the squeeze it's like you remember why you left as soon as you get back what's the moon There's victory in letting go of the past. Anybody who tries to make you feel, you know, anybody who goes out of their way to make you feel low or less than, or like you're not good enough, or like, I don't know if somebody tried to come for your confidence, but it's a telltale sign that clearly this person thinks that you're better than them. So, <laughs> You know, don't let anybody project or don't let anything, anyone's criticisms take root inside of you because it looks like you're the one that's sought after. So protect your energy. This is the person with the problem, Sagittarius. That's what I'm getting. They're the one that's throwing off your energy. And they want, they'll keep you in this loop as long as you let them. You don't have to convince anybody that you're good enough for them. You may have this person kind of looking at things from a different perspective too, though. The song is playing right now. It's called Memories. This person's looking back at some things. They may have a lot of people that they slept with in their life. I don't know. Just That's what I'm getting from this. But something has them, it's like a lot of people that lie. Is the saying lie in their wake? They got a lot of, con ah, why am I hearing concubines? <laughs> this person has lived. But they may feel like there's something there with you. They can't stop thinking about you. This could be a Virgo. They know that they have some unaddressed, some things that they need to address with you. That they need to talk to you about the reason for the inconsistencies, where their time and energy was going. I feel like this person is... Um, wants to let you know that they're working through some issues in order to be able to take accountability or like be that stand up person that you wanted them to be. They don't want things to be over with you. I think this person is, what are their intentions with Sag? It's like they want to work on themselves. It's like to stop, to take a break, maybe take a break. It's like they want something. They still have hope in this connection, but they feel like they need to make some changes. They do feel like you're everything that they've ever wanted. This this reading is going a few different ways, okay? But you got this person kind of looking at them themselves. And I feel like it's because maybe you come to this. You ended it because it's like, wait a minute. I'm not the one that needs to make the changes here. So it's like whatever transpired between the two of you, you hit a point where you like, ah, uh, this ain't me. This is not me. And you're not going to continue to try to make me believe that all of this is my problem so that you don't have to do anything. Something like that. This person is selfish. Entitled. They think they the shit. And really, they're the problem. 
King of Cups in the reverse, Ace of Swords in the reverse. This is why you're, this is exactly why you turn your attention to yourself. It's like sometimes a person can get you to a point where you're feeling so insecure or you can allow this, where you're feeling so insecure that it pushes you into a corner where you have to make a decision to love yourself. This person wants a second chance with you. They want to fight for this connection. Yeah, they definitely want to fight for this connection. But they cause a lot of grief between the two of you. They want a second chance, though. But here's that Nine of Swords again. Is this you? They wondering who's loving you. <laughs> Because nine times out of ten, I feel like you guys or you, you had some really good sex. And this person's like, what are you doing? They want to pull you back in. But I feel like this is the feeling that they give you every time you turn around and try to work on this. Keep, keep, keep moving. Keep on moving. Don't stop. No. Nine of Wands is the point of it all. Some people do change. This person hasn't. King of Swords is in the reverse still. It's like for the sake of your own peace of mind, your stability, that fear that you feel, that anxiousness that you feel whenever you even think about moving back towards this person, just don't. Because even they, even in your absence, one thing you need to know, Sagittarius, is you still got it. No matter how this person tried to criticize you or whatever happened here. It's like you got somebody to look at their damn self. <laughs> and look at what you got going on, okay? Before you judge me. It's like, what they say? It's ten fingers pointing back at you, something like that. You got this person to look at that. It's not that complex. You're a smart boy, you're a smart girl. And I just wouldn't go back in that direction. Love is in the reverse at the bottom of the deck. Ace of Wands in the reverse. I feel like there was a compatibility between the two of you, but maybe there, the suitability wasn't there. Because this person It's like they didn't know a good thing when they had it. They created trust issues between the two of you because, I don't know, is it that they were worried about what other people think? Actions weren't lining up with the words that they was telling you. I heard this thing today. I forgot what I was listening to, but... He said, normally the one that's your type isn't the one that, you know, this marriage material. A lot of times our type don't have nothing to do with, you know, what's good for us. And what is a type anyway, but a preference, you know? It's like, I would prefer somebody who's, um, you know, six foot whatever, you know, abs or whatever it is that you like. I prefer him to make six, seven figures. I would prefer this. I would prefer that. But the person who's actually suitable for you, the person who, honey, you can depend on at three in the morning. Sometimes I saw this other post that said, uh, I think it was 50 Cent that said, if you love a woman right or a person right, not even a billionaire could take them from you. I agree, because I done had some rich men who are a piece of shit, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Listen to me. It's like you look at this beautiful specimen and you're like, oh my God, you, you know, we come up with all these stories in our head of what we can be and, and then we connect with the person and it's so good, the sex and this and that and the chemistry and oh. 
But then the closer we get, we realize, oh, our lifestyles are very different, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, I thought I had this prince and I ended up with somebody who was flighty with cold feet. Like, I'm prepared is what I'm getting. We don't know how long we got to get this thing right. <laughs> you know, this is only sharpening your discernment for the next go round. Be open to change, Sagittarius. Be open to change. It could be an Aquarius coming into your life. I'm about to do Aquarius next. Let's see, new moon in Aquarius. Big changes are forecast, but you need to let events fold with as little steering as possible from you. Let go of control. Sometimes you just need to take a bit of space from a person or a situation. Like I said, even this person, I wouldn't make any moves towards this person. Even they feel like they need to take a step away in order to get their shit together to come to you correct. Even they feel that way. If you know you've been too emotional about someone or something, this card offers you a chance to cool things down. A rational, even slightly aloof assessment of your current circumstances is called for. Allow for things to develop. Try to think of your situation from a different angle. This card is an especially good sign for matters related to friends, networking, a wish come true, science, tech, or online dating. Be yourself. Independence doesn't mean loneliness. A group of people rather than one person may be the ones to help you. There is only one me and it is safe to be me and I love me. The song is playing right now is called The Gift. I feel like this is a blessing in disguise, Sagittarius. And I'm going to leave it there. Like, share, and subscribe if this resonated with you and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.